Hey guys, it's Jared from Backwoods Animation, and welcome to part four of our character rigging tutorial. So this is a quick overview of how I get a shoulder rotation with arms going in front and behind the body. It's part of a larger series, so it's just a little section from that series. Um, so if it's a little confusing, sorry about that, but I hope you enjoy it. We're going to do some little objects. These will be for our shoulders. We'll duplicate them. So we're gonna name this first one, that will be, uh, what is that, right shoulder? Right shoulder, which means that this one is left shoulder. And what we'll do is, oh yeah, we need to animate the paths. So hit P, keyframe, go over one, this shoulder will come over like so, and this one will come back like so. And we'll go over another frame, and the, key, the positions will stay exactly the same. Then we'll paste it back into the center, and both of these guys will then come oops, up, maybe just a little bit. It doesn't have to be too much. And then they will come down. Okay, and it's that simple. So then select all your layers, hit that, and we're gonna call this one torso rotate. And we'll come back here into the comp. Actually, I want to, I'm gonna put this in the comp one. Parent. Whoops. Parent. So now it's over here. And I'm just going to center it. And I'll pull it, pull it down a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens. So now we have a rotation in our torso. There we go. So the next thing we have to do is we just have to parent um, our arms to our null objects in the torso. But before that, we need to create some new, new null objects. And then we'll duplicate. We'll call this one left shoulder. We'll call this one right shoulder. We'll move it over. <clears throat> and then we're going to parent, oops, we'll parent left shoulder to, let me turn that off. Come on. Left shoulder will go to, um, left shoulder. And right shoulder will go to right shoulder. Then hit P for both of these. We're going to pull this up. And then we're going to parent the position. Whoops. Actually, let me see what these are called. There we go. Left shoulder will go to left shoulder, and right shoulder will go to right shoulder. The next thing we're going to do, I guess we can change the anchor point, or actually we probably don't even need to change the anchor point. All we'll do is attach this one to left upper arm to left shoulder, and then we'll attach right upper arm to right shoulder. So now when we rotate, the arms move with it. Look at that. Now you'll notice the arm is not coming in front of the body like maybe it should be. I'll adjust that in the next tutorial um, 
And again, because we parented the arm to this null object, which is attached to the null object within the body torso, the body comp, we can still move the shoulder around if need be. So now we have upward rotations and downward rotations. Ah, that's right. So starting off, we're just gonna grab all of our layers and we're gonna turn those into 3D. So select them and then this little box right here is your 3D layers. Now there's two other sections that we have to turn 3D on as well. So it's your leg nulls and also your shoulder nulls. So once those are in 3D, then we can come back into the shoulders. So where the torso, we need to turn these 3D as well and we're gonna select our control for joysticks and sliders and we're gonna break it. We're gonna disconnect it so that it's not reading anything. We're gonna grab our controls and hit P. Um, now, I, I've done some um, exploring with this rig and I found out that the best way to get this rotation to look right is I need to pull these shoulders out a bit. So I'm gonna select my neutral pose, my up, whoops, my up and my down pose, and I'm gonna push these out maybe around there. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And I also don't want this pose to come forward too much so I'm gonna push it back right around there. And this might get confusing, but um, let me try to explain this very slowly. So now that my shoulders are rotated to my character's left, the right shoulder will come forward in Z space. Whoops. Forward in Z space as the left shoulder goes back in Z space. So just push it back a little bit. And then going this way, I now want my character's right shoulder not to go forward as far, but I also want it to come forward in Z space. And I want his right shoulder to go backward in Z space. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna select my elements and I'm gonna rebind them to the torso rotate. So if we come in here, now we can rotate and the shoulders, either the arms either go in front of the body or behind the body. And it's really just that simple. And I can do the same thing to the other direction. Now the arm is behind the body and this arm is in front of the body. Uh, and it's, that's just amazing that it works that simply. It blows my mind, but there it is. And it pushed my character's shoulders um, out just a little bit. Whoops. But that's okay. I don't, I don't mind. Um, there we go. I don't mind them being out that far, you know. I can live with that. It actually looks, it might actually look better. The only place that it gets a little tricky is when the arm's out like this, it looks okay. It's starting to break at the armpit a little bit. Once it goes straight up, then you can really see this is not a connected arm. So it might take a little tinkering when you do like hands above the head type poses, but for the general use, it looks, it looks fine. Hey, if you guys liked the video and you want to see the full series, head over to patreon.com forward slash backwards animation and you can watch the whole series. It's a four part tutorial where I go from the ground up and I cover everything about this rig. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Feel free to head on over there. All right. Thanks, guys.